The SkyLife Neonatal Phototherapy System with 3D Light Array provides best-in-class spectral power, which exceeds AAP guidelines for intensive phototherapy. SkyLife's exceptional spectral power can reduce bedside equipment and nurse workload by mitigating the need for additional lights during treatment. SkyLife Spectral Power allows for effective intermittent phototherapy, which means you can pause the device to provide true kangaroo care, skin-to-skin, -skin, and family bonding time. When removing the SkyLife from its package, please ensure that you see these primary components, the SkyLife Phototherapy Unit and the controller with power supply. You should have also received a few Cloud Cover Plus and Infant Eye Protection with the SkyLife Phototherapy System. We will now walk through each of the steps to effectively use the SkyLife System. Make sure the SkyLife Phototherapy System is facing up with the gel pad on top. Place the Cloud Cover on the device over the gel mat. Secure the Cloud Cover Plus to the device using the corner pockets like a fitted sheet. Neolite recommends replacing the covers every 24 hours. Attach the controller and power supply to the device. Plug the power supply into the wall outlet. You are now ready to place the SkyLife device into a crib, bassinet, or incubator. Place the controller outside of the crib, bassinet, or incubator. The SkyLife device may be used in any sleeping area that is at least 24 inches long and 13 inches wide. Make sure the cord does not pose a hazard to the baby. The sleeping area should also contain protective walls on all four sides. We will now show you how to prepare the baby for phototherapy. Before starting treatment, always shield the baby's eyes with a protective eye mask designed to use during phototherapy. You may remove the eye protection when you are caring for the baby outside of the phototherapy area. The baby should only be wearing a diaper during phototherapy treatment. For the treatment to be effective, the light must shine directly on the baby's skin. Now you are ready to place the baby on the SkyLife device. Ensure that only the Cloud Cover Plus is directly under the baby. Follow these steps to contain the baby while using SkyLife. Position the baby on the SkyLife so the upper flaps will contain the baby's shoulders. Start with the upper left flap. Pull this flap midline to the baby. Take the upper right flap and pull midline to the baby and affix the Velcro to the left flap. Ensure that the Velcro is secure by pressing firmly. Repeat this process with the lower flaps. When the flaps are secured, position the bottom flap over the side flaps. Press firmly so the Velcro is secure. You are now ready to begin treatment by turning on the SkyLife device. To power on the device, press and hold the power button on the controller until you hear a beep and the lights come on. The SkyLife device will run a self-test. After the SkyLife self-test, you may press the plus button to begin treatment. The plus and minus buttons allow you to set the light intensity to the level prescribed by the clinician. The clinician will order a low, high, or very high level. When caring for the baby, you can simply pause the phototherapy treatment. To pause treatment, press the power button once. To resume treatment, press the power button once again. To turn off the device, press down and hold the power button until the display turns off, which signifies the SkyLife device is turned off. Check prescribed levels regularly. If the device is accidentally turned off instead of paused, the level will reset to low. In order to disconnect the controller from SkyLife, you will need to slide the cable sleeve away from the controller until it hits a stop. Once the sleeve hits the stop, you can easily slide the cable out of the controller. You may find it difficult to remove the cable from the controller if the sleeve has not slid down the cable enough. Do not attempt to force the cable out of the controller. The SkyLife device is to be cleaned using standard cleaning cloths prior to use. You may clean the non-body contact areas, such as the gel mat, controller, and power supply of the SkyLife system using standard cleaning wipes. Do not remove the gel mat during cleaning. Three key points to remember are, one, maximize baby's time spent on SkyLife. Two, always use eye protection for baby. And three, do not remove gel mat during cleaning.
Learn more at www.theneolite.com.